for Saturday. Well, you may have guessed that today is actually the first Saturday back for the Premier League and football fans everywhere will be waiting in eager anticipation to see how fit their team is after three months of training in isolation. A couple of matches have already taken place during this week as the footballing world does its best to try and compete, complete this uniquely disjointed season. Football is, of course, one of many sports to have been hit by the disruption. The Olympics have, in the first instance, been postponed for a year. Wimbledon, cricket, rugby and yachting have all had to change or abandon their events, sometimes for the first time in their history. Of course, at a more local level, although more people have definitely been out cycling, walking and running, the bowls club, the cricket club and the leisure centre remain firmly closed at the moment and many people, including in the bunker, are desperately waiting for them to reopen. Keeping fit has been rather a challenge in these last few months. Well, if you are going out for a walk or a bike ride today, enjoy the dry weather and the chance to get some exercise. Now, you may have noticed that we have our delightful candelabra as well as the uh, bunting out today and it is for something really very special. Today we send many congratulations to Anne and Chris Cheeseman on their golden wedding anniversary. Now Anne and Chris give so much to so many people and it is a real pleasure to be able to send them our love on this very special day. Many congratulations and we hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to light the candelabra. You can guarantee that the candles aren't going to play ball. But uh, there we go. So there's one here. We use this for weddings. One here representing Chris. Oh, it's not going to light, is it? Yes, it is. One here representing Anne. And then... Third one here representing 50 golden years together. So many congratulations and as I said, have a fantastic weekend. Okay, change with the times. Don't forget the final and 100th issue of the Viral Times will be delivered on Friday the 26th of June. And on the following day, a week today, Saturday the 27th, we're going to launch our new weekly publication, Connect Up. OK, remember the new name. This is going to replace our former weekly news sheet, Pew News, and will be delivered by email and by hand on Saturday each week. We're also going to make sure that there are some paper copies of Connect Up within the churches um, available for anyone that needs to pick them up there. But most of all, we will be distributing by email, which means we don't need to print off nearly as many copies as we used to, thus saving paper. How green is that? It's a really positive step. So uh, look out for that next week. And we will, of course, be uh, continuing to do our little recording in our recording studio um, to send out as well with Connect Up. Now, number grams, Ollie Kennett has sent us in a little number puzzle to keep you occupied today and the answers will come out tomorrow. So with number grams, decode the following clues that all involve numbers. And the example you've got there is, seven, is seven, D in a W, is seven days in a week. Some of them look quite straightforward. I think others will have you thinking. So let us know how you get on with that and uh, we will of course send you the answers tomorrow. 
Now, we don't want to assume that because you have been subscribing to the Viral Times that you will still want to receive Connect Up. So if you would like us to take your name now off of the list of recipients, let us know. We will be distraught to lose you and you will miss out on all sorts of things. But we will, of course, do as we're told and remove you from the list. Um, a lovely memory. Now, this is a, such a wonderful thing um, that we have received. Following our inclusion of the death of Dame Vera Lynn, John Lee has been in touch. And John writes, thank you for your tribute to this amazing woman who had a special plate, place in my father's heart and in the hearts of many who served in the Far East. Now, enclosed with the Viral Times today is a photo of Dame Vera with John's father, who is circled on the photo on Garrison Hill, which within weeks would be a major battlefield in the desperate struggle to hold Kahima. Now, we thank John so much for sending this in. It really is a very special and lovely image. Um, and does capture so much of the things that we've been seeing and hearing about Dame Vera in the press since she passed away on Thursday. So thank you, John. Now, Worship and the Viral Times on social media. You can access the daily services on our website, www.tenterdomcov, uh, www that's all one word, tenterdomcov.co.uk. You can also access them through our Facebook page, The Church of England in Tenterden, Tenterden St Michael's and Smallhive, and on YouTube. And there is a very long YouTube address which you can click on and is on the uh, viral times that you will have been emailed today. Now, if you go onto the website, Facebook or YouTube today, you will find Pioneers of Faith, so that is the third in our series of Saturday morning reflective services, uh, following and looking at the lives of the apostles. And today we look at Paul, St Paul. Uh, that will be on the website from seven o'clock in the morning. And in the evening, we are ending with a hymn and a wonderful choice of hymn for this evening, uh, which you will be able to get from seven o'clock this evening. You will of course have been sent the orders of service that accompany those acts of worship with your digital edition of the Viral Times. Um, thought for the day is included for you today and the reading is from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 12. So please do have a little look at that and the reflection that follows. And we have also incorporated some prayers for you this morning. So uh, that's it for uh, the Viral Times for today. We've got quite a lot of uh, news and information which we will be putting in with the Viral Times tomorrow. So please do uh, stay tuned and listen out for that. There's some important bits and pieces that are going to be coming your way in the next few days. But in the meantime, if you're a football fan, enjoy the football. If you're not, then you better find something else to do with your day today. Um, but have a wonderful day. And please remember, keep safe, keep praying and keep connected. Goodbye. No.